Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking Dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. are you, I thought we were already going. Are you ready, baby? I'm ready. Scared to death! It's, it's all that's going through my head today. Just over and over again. Just those just those words. It's so good. <laughs> it's just all over again. That's, that's all it is. I wish my last FM would get my what my brain sings all day. I'd be the number one fucking listener death threat. You think threat. so? <laughs> death threat? You think so? You think so? <laughs> nah. No way. Death Threat's been around since before I was born, so no way. There's gotta be some diehard fan out there, you know? Totally. Is there a, a certain group or artist that you think you are number one listener to all time? All time? Like, for real, for real? For real, for real. Like, if, if, the, if the whole world had Last FM. Yeah, and if, then it if, was like... If the whole world was in our Discord chat, <laughs> <laughs> who would it be? Let's see. I would probably say... Uh, no, I, there, I don't think there is one. You don't think there is one? I don't think there is one, honestly. I know for a fact I am the number one listener in the world. For who? Lucid CIC. <laughs> uh, you know what? For real, though. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, that's straight Yes, okay. Facts. Okay, yes, you're totally right. I 100% agree with you, but considering <laughs> how underground that is, let's go, let's step it a notch above. No way in hell. Go a little more mainstream. Nobody? Honestly, at a time there, it could have been Puya. You think so? Even that, I don't think so. Brother, I was listening to Puya since I was like 15. Heavy for years on end. But I bet you some Florida boys. Some people from Florida? You think so? I bet you they ride or die for that fool. Yeah, no way. Because I, I don't listen to music as much as like you listen to music, for sure. Mm -hmm. You know? I think I double the amount of music you listen to. Maybe more. I don't think so. I think the numbers show almost exactly double. I've seen you go from 11,000, I go to 22,000. I'm at like 18K right now. Oh, okay. Oh, my, that's pretty good. My pretty listens good. were real low. I was like, damn, I only got like 6,000 plays. Like, this is fucking embarrassing. So I made a conscious effort to listen to more music at work. But then again, it's like music, I feel like uh, I just love it so much. You know what I mean? It's such a big part of my life. And I'm not saying just one specific genre. I'm saying music in general. Yeah, like uh, I told you I was getting a little burnt out of hardcore. Uh -huh. Not like to where I won't go to shows or anything like that. It's just I've just been listening to it so much recently, like the past couple months, that I only want to hear like a few bands. So today I put on my OG playlist, like my 300-hour playlist, you know what I'm saying? I just let that bad boy run all day. It was vibes, brother. I just don't understand how people can go, like, I, I know I know some people who Years. say they don't listen to music. What? Yeah. It's like, how do you do that? What, what do they do? Fucking. You know, they watch, they watch TV. They edge the porn They or watch something? YouTube. They just edge all day? That's it. That's all, that's all they do. You know what I mean? That, there's people out there that would much rather prefer to um, watch something that is like a show or a movie or whatever it may be than to listen to something right me personally i'd much rather listen to something okay the world is ending and the aliens got a fucking blaster to your head and it's like show us what your world is all about sir show us what your world's about this is we're, we're gonna blow this bitch up what song are you showing them what song am i showing What's them one song What's your, what's your world about, bitch? I'm showing them Unite by Throwdown. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> One word. Unite. <laughs> they sound like beat down. What are they? That's How would you describe them? Straight edge. Straight edge? That's it. Inclination. Vibes? I'm, I'm trying to get the vibes out of you. What do what, you mean? What are the vibes of the song? Like, what are they, who do they sound like that I would know? Um, well, I think... I, I, I actually think that they sound a lot like... Uh, Bound in Blood, or I would say Bound in Blood sounds a lot like them. They're I'm not, older? I'm not sure who, I, I think so. I'm not sure who came first, honestly. Yeah. But um, I get I get the similar vibes. I like, you don't like that shit. 
my, my ears get the similar sound. I, uh-huh. I, I don't know, though. I'm not I'm not a musical professional. You know, I, I don't know how to uh, describe what my ears are fucking hearing that the best at times. I just know that I fucking rock with it. My song, and I don't know the original artist, because for some reason it's not on platforms. Like, you have to, like, find it. SoundCloud? No. Uh, are you showing them some real trap shit? It's called We Are The People. And it goes, We are the people that rule the world. It's like some EDM shit. Uh, instantly, the, the song that came to mind is honestly one of the most legendary songs of all time. We are the world. We are the children. That lineup, dude. Yeah. Wow. The people they had on that fucking thing? Jesus Christ. I'm going I'm to take you through the highlights, the highlight music of my day. Okay, so how, how are you determining this? Is it something that like... It's what made me... Because sometimes you listen to music subconsciously. It's just there in the background. Okay. And then there's songs where you're like... Oh, it's hidden. It's hidden. Okay. Okay. And I think we've talked about it before. And these are the songs that like we... I mean... Connect with. If, if, you, if you follow us on Instagram at all, which you don't know our ads anymore... Um, <laughs> these are the songs that we put on our stories for for most for the most part, right? Uh, like where we're listening so to I them and we're like, oh, it's hitting, hitting. I haven't put any songs on my story except for the other day for the death threat shit. Uh huh. But I just feel like no one wants to keep seeing death threat all over again, just over and over and over. <laughs> yeah, I saw it four times and I was like, whoa. <laughs> that was more of like a joke, obviously, but. Hey, it looked real to me. It's not a joke to me, baby. Not a joke to me. No, but I do play them on repeat like crazy. But I'm saying, like, do they really want to see Death Threat all my story again? Right, right. But I mean, but... So today what was hit? Those who know, will know. What was hit today? If I Ain't Got You, Alicia Keys. Oh, I love that song. I have nothing. Oh, you know, that's a good one, dude. Fire. I might have to throw it out tomorrow. Blue Notes, Meek Mill. Blue Notes 1. Okay, never, never listened to it. You listen to Blue Notes too? Honestly, wouldn't be able to tell you. All right. I need to hear it. Um, Yo, Meek Mill was crazy back in the day. He dropped that Dreams and Nightmares. That shit was smacking, baby. Play It Again by Luke Bryan. Okay, never listened to him. Fire. Okay. Motion God, Moneybag. Never listened to him either. That's like his newest album. And then... Where is it? Stick Seasons, Noah Khan. All those were hitting today. Noah Khan, never listened to him either. I know he is a country artist, He's a country guy. Okay, yeah. Never listened to him. There'll be times where I'll just fully go immersed into Luke Combs. And I just play his shit top to bottom. Man's man's got a voice of an angel. Does he? Oh, yeah. Who's got the best voice of music, in your opinion? Who, who... Who has that voice that makes you, like... I don't know. It makes you shrivel on the inside. Singer Scarab? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Who makes me like feel like something inside? Yeah. It really depends. Well, in reality, it could be anything, honestly. It could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. Like, but, like today, Alicia Keys... Like, okay, to be fair, Alicia Keys always been hitting. Different. When you think about your baby mom... Not your, no, 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 no. Take that back. Take it back now. <laughs> When you think about your old curry mama. She loves that shit. I like uh I remember we were with her friends, right? And I was in the front and her her friend's boyfriend was driving. Okay. And he's like, just put something on. And I put that shit on. We had all the windows down and I was screaming that shit out the window. We were all screaming, it was fucking awesome. Lucia Keys. See, I've never been one to 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 scream music musical lyrics at the top of my lungs with other people in the car. Just by yourself? Just by myself. I and and I've never done that, not even with my brother, not 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 with you. Totally not with me. I've, I've, but never, I've never done, done that, that with you either. With anybody. Maybe it's time. With anybody in my life. I'm gonna put it on this weekend. No, but see the Loud thing is as hell. Okay, hold hold on. That's the thing. In. We'll be hours in. You it won't even be you won't even remember it by then. We'll be hours deep and I'll just be like, Oh, here it comes. Alicia Keys and I'll be like And I had nothing. <laughs> I can almost guarantee you, I probably won't be screaming those lyrics at the top of my lung. Although it is a great song. Great song. Amazing song. Um, but 
But that's probably not the one for me. If I'm gonna, if you want me to do that, it's probably not the one for me. <laughs> On, I, I honestly couldn't tell you a song that I know you would sing like that. There's not a single song on the top of my head that I know you would sing in the full fucking force. With you in the car? Yeah. None, brother. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Could not tell you a single song that I could firmly say you would sing at the top of your lungs. And I know for a fact it would not be a hardcore song. Nope. I know for a fact it would not be a hardcore song. No way. What kind of genre do you think it would be? I'm honestly thinking some Hunter Geck shit. Nope. Am I close? No way. Is it like some old school shit? What do you mean by old school shit? Like older, like Whitney Houston type shit. Nope. <laughs> what do you think it would be? I think. What do I think? In the car, what do you like? What gets you screaming? The music. There's there's two songs that instantly came to mind. Okay. Okay. You know what? Make that three songs that okay. instantly came to mind, and um, so. Two of them are by the same artist. Uh-huh. Um, one of them is Cold Beer by Jesse Stewart. Never heard of it. And I, you can't, this is not on, this is not on streaming, at least not the, not the version that I like. It's only on YouTube. And this is literally a video of, uh, of somebody just recording him. Uh-huh. And he's there sitting with his mandolin. He looks like he, he just woke up from a park bench. Like he's been sleeping there for about a week. Like he's like a hobo. Yeah. And he's fucking ripping it. Uh-huh. That shit is literally, I feel it in, in my my loins. Real. It feels real. It's real. It's as fucking real as it can get. Jesse Stewart, by the way, if you don't know him, you got to check him out. R.I.P. Um, long and gone, but not forgotten. Does he have a park bench in his name? I, I hope <laughs> so, somewhere. And... The second one by him is uh, Marauder, right? And that is, that version is also not on streaming. It's only on YouTube. And he got his rise pretty much from uh, Trailer Park Boys. You've heard of Trailer Park Boys. And bringing it back O.S. style, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, that's O.S. That's (laughs) O.S. Can I sit like I'm in therapy? Do your thing, brother. However you feel most comfortable. But yes, he got his rise pretty much from Trailer Park Boys where... Um, they played him in Trailer Park Boys? <clears throat> yeah, I forget. There was this thing where you can submit you can submit videos to where they, they could like... Um, they were just scoping out a bunch of talent. Uh-huh. And they, they, they saw him, his video that he submitted, and they were blown away. Really? They were blown away. So, so pretty he, much... Was they, he old? No, he's not old. He's a youngster, man. It, it, at least he looks like one. He looks like he's, I mean, late 20s, early 30s. Okay. I would say. And this video is pretty much shirtless dude in a bar. And he, it's kind of like an open mic night in a way. Uh-huh. And he's just singing, right? And th- same thing, man. That It's real. It fucking makes me feel so much. It's a great song, uh-huh. and that guy is really writing from the heart. You could totally tell, and he's singing from deep within his fucking soul. There's there's so many songs that I scream out loud. Like I'm not saying it's like every song, mm-hmm. but there I have so many songs that make me feel that type of way. Okay, yes, and as do I, as do I. But these these songs that I'm telling you about are. Uh, they're on the top of my list. They're, they, the, the feeling is extremely prominent. And what's the third song? The third one is If I Tremble by Front Porch Step. No? Well, it's a very sad, sappy song. Uh, it's, it's a love song. I, I love me my love songs. I love me my <laughs> love movies, love songs. The love genre is a, a big fan of it. But uh, that song really makes me feel some shit as well. And if you haven't checked it out, which I know you have, if you, what, as soon as you hear it, ah, yes, I've heard this before. Oh, okay. For sure. I've played it's it. It's a song that everyone's heard. No, no, no. Not that everyone's heard it. That you've played for me. Is it, is it that album? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've listened to the album. Yeah. That's a love album, baby. Totally that album. Love album. And uh, 
those are really the three that come to mind. I'm really thinking right now. Wreckage by Nate Smith. I feel that way. Okay. Feel me? I feel connection to that song. Heavy. Now, what genre, what genre are we talking about? He's here? country. Okay. He's country. I feel real connected to that song. Okay. The song about how you have all these problems and then you still are here, you know? You're still here by me. With my problems and my mm-hmm. issues. That's cool. That's dope. That's deep. More Than a Woman by the Bee Gees. That's, a, that's another that's another song. I'm going to go Alicia Keys. If I Ain't Got You. If I Ain't Got You. Yep. And that's it? Those three? No. I told you you got a lot. I'll give you another one. Okay. Uh, Superman is Dead by Puya. Anytime that song comes on, instant hit. That song is an instant classic for me. Superman is dead. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows the lyrics. No. Everyone knows Puya. <laughs> Dude, speaking of Puya, did you see what he posted today? No, I don't. I don't be on him like that. He said, "How does this little he said How does this little ugly motherfucker get my my shit?" This ugly ass goblin dude on TikTok leaks his music and critiques it on TikTok. And he's like, honestly, Puya, turn this in. I don't like it. I don't like this. <laughs> he's ugly, dude. Hey, but are his music reviews good? I have no idea, but you want to see what he looks like? Puya posted him. Ugly old But then, troll. to be fair, Puya is not the most dashingly he's, handsome man himself. He's got that confidence, though. He's got, he's got confidence. And you know what? That's bringing it back to what I wanted to ask you earlier. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh, he's a small person, too. Yes. Damn, dude. Dude, he's ugly. Man. But you got a big old wing. I did. No. Do, do many people got big old wings? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, maybe in, in their proportions, maybe they're big. Who knows? Because I'm big and I got small wang. Yeah, <laughs> it's not what I heard, brother. Big deal. <laughs> big wang. Uh, small, <laughs> small wang. <laughs> um, Hoser not hosing. Well, it sounds like that power about to shut off. You hear that? For real, dude. I think that's your mama. Hey, She's chiming in. Don't say that, dude. That's scary. Is it scary to you, brother? I just told you about my Instagram shit. I think it's interesting, really. It's not interesting. Well, because my Instagram has been nothing but scary reels <laughs> for the past like four days. It's been scaring the shit out of me, and especially at night. Okay. And then I can't stop watching. You're thinking about it the wrong way. You're thinking about it the wrong way. It's scary. And I'm not saying you're thinking about the Instagram reels the wrong way. You're thinking about the situation the wrong way. You're like th- Mike, the situation from Jersey Shore. No, but. You're thinking that this situation is going to turn into some, some paranoic, paranormal activity type. She's going to fling you across the room and whatnot. But honestly, what I think... I she's think just it, saying what's up. She's just saying what's up. She, she just wants to brush up against your arm and just tell you, you're good, daddy. And I just got chills. That'd you're good. Crazy. You know? That'd be crazy. Honestly, I might just shit myself if also, that happened. Also, Over the Rainbow. Love that song. Mm-hmm. By um, Yes, dude. <laughs> was that racist? <laughs> was that? No, I just didn't know it. No. <laughs> I think hey, at least name, I know the state fish. I think his name is Israel. I think so, too. At least Big I know the state dude. fish. Yes or no? Yes. Ah, come on. Give me some cred. Huh? Big old dude. Oh, fuck, I got the pipes, baby. Heck yeah, man. Not only does he got the pipes, but he's got the, he's got the soft, gentle touch. You know what I'm saying? It's because you you said my mom, and then I got like in my head visual chills, and then it reminded me of that song. That's another song I love. Love that shit. It took you to the islands. Yeah. It literally took you to the islands. And this is my last song. I'm not gonna talk about music anymore unless it, we bring it up again. Break stuff, Limp Bizkit. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I wonder what our last FM would be. <laughs> If we had it back then, just off break stuff. Well, you you can go ahead and um, be a supporter. I'm not paying for that shit. You can be a supporter. I've thought about it. Just it it, it intrigues me. I would love to know. To what know I, like what my suicide boy shit is. 
All of it, everything for you and me, because I feel like this, the, your Suicide Boys numbers would be off the chain. But going off uh, the topic of music, I wanted to ask you earlier, and we we're talking a bit about confidence, right? Self confidence. Uh-huh. We we're talking about uh, self confidence, and then a, a question came to my head: Do you have an article of clothing or something <laughs> that you put on that instantly boosts you up ten thousand? Instantly, you feel sexy. Instantly, you feel like your shit doesn't stink. Honestly, I love that drug church shirt. The green one? Yeah. That shirt is fire, I will say. But I just got that, so I'm not going to count it. But I couldn't tell you. Well, if I'm basing it off, uh, you just got that, you're not going to count it. Then there goes my fucking selection. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Can we put it in the honorable mentions category? Yeah, okay. sure. Okay, so what's your honorable mention? This hat, brother. <laughs> this hat. This hat is hitting. Every time I put it on, it hits. It, it, it's like it's like it, it's like an alien came down and put some type of fucking device on my head to give me powers. I feel like there's certain clothes I just look better in. Okay. Like that does my shirt. I feel like I look good in that shirt, the one I was wearing earlier before I took a shower. Okay. What yeah. do you think? Thoughts? Thoughts on how you look on it? Uh-huh. Well, they say black is a slimming color, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're right. I would say it looks good on you. But, but, I wouldn't say it's your best fitting shirt. Okay. Dude, I, I, I literally couldn't tell you. I like that, I like that blue flannel I have. I do like that. I don't think I've seen it. I have a picture of me in, the, in, in a court bathroom with it. You want to see that? But it's like you put this thing on, right? I got the fucking chills right now. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Bad chills. Stop! That's why I had the, my little quiver. Did Stop. you see my little quiver? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Did you see my little Stop. quiver? Stop. Oh, they're coming back. Oh, man. I feel it running, rushing down my spine. I'm getting really scared. I got a fat quiver, yes. So you put this thing on, and, and you quite literally feel like you have superpowers. I, I, it might be this flannel. I'm trying to find a photo. I deleted it. Maybe it's still there in the archives. And it could be anything as small as like a... I feel like good in it. I think you absolutely look good in it as well. Is that blue? Yeah. I'm going to restore it now. It could be anything as small as painting your fingernails. Honestly, I thought my fingernails looked good when they were painted. See, there you go. If that's something that makes you feel that way. I uh, do... Uh, those gray pants, I do like wearing those. But does that make you feel... It does. Powerful. I don't... I don't know. I guess. I'm like, yeah, I look good in these. I'm just, I like wearing them, you know? Uh. I really like my blue fucking uh, Ocean Bliss Dunks. I just have a hard time finding something to match with it. Uh-huh. You know? Okay. You know? Yeah. And I don't really know. I don't. I don't know your fucking closet, but... I have these pair of Ocean Bliss Nike Dunks. They're light blue. I know which ones you're talking about. I just don't have anything to match it. Right. I just don't know what you have in your closet. So that's why I, I don't I don't know if... I got nothing that'll go good with it. Nothing. Zilch. That's what disappoints me. The most. I just had an outfit idea right in my head. The Ocean Blue Dunks my gray fucking pants with the big boy shirt with the fucking blue writing it's like were you one to set out your fucking outfit fuck yeah <laughs> the day before school started I would set up my outfit for like the first week damn really like that and then remember how I dressed in high school my whole life you set that outfit out no oh I would have like a like a cool outfit I think would be cool okay for like a week and then it'd just be back to the same shit same shoes, ah, shorts, and a, and a hoodie. Gotcha. All fucking year long, year round. Hot, cold, winter. But for that week, you were stunting. Stunting. I thought I was the coolest motherfucker. I had these Laker-colored uh, Nikes. What the fuck was I thinking? What the fuck was I thinking wearing those shoes? Hang on, if you liked them. And I got sunscreen on them, like, day one. <laughs> and they were, like, a, a velvet texture. That was not. That was never coming out. <coughs> never got it out. Never. Thermoy. I didn't. I, I used them and abused them. 
I'm the user of user type. I will fucking wear it until it's dead. Will you? 100%. But are you constantly wearing it? Oh, yeah. Or are you kind of like switching it up and then and then the life of them is kind of prolonged, but you're still going to use them until they're dead? You get what I'm saying? My whole life until about like maybe two and a half, three years ago. Does that make sense? Yes. I did not give a fuck what I wore. I would go out, like when we'd go out to eat, shorts, Crocs, and a shirt with holes in it. <laughs> and you know that's true. I remember. And I'd do that, and I'd be like, this is normal. You're like, this is fucking fire. <laughs> I mean, that this is fire. I was like, I don't give a fuck. This fit is fucking swag. So now I feel like I at least care more. You know? What, what, what do you think did it make that switch? What will flip that switch for you? Uh, there was that guy at work that was stalking me and he told me he was like dude he's like you're not fucking ugly you're just fat <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't even about the clothes it was just the weight yeah no 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 <laughs> he's like the only thing wrong with you is that you're fat and he's like <laughs> for people that don't know I was like 400 pounds at one time so I was like mega fat and he's like but that's not stopping you from getting bitches cause this guy would get hella bitches and he was gay for me. Like, legit. Uh-huh. That's some OG pod lore shit. If you guys go way back, you gotta find it. But, he said, he's like, dude, what the fuck do you wear when you go out? And I showed him. He was like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, you're not gonna get no bitches like that. And I never got any bitches <laughs> after that, but I just felt better about myself. I cared then when he started telling me, he's like, dude, just fucking dress up a little bit. Spruce it up a little bit. And he would line me up every week. That was crazy, though. Every fucking week I'd get a haircut. Honestly, I wish I had it like that. He was cheap, That'd too. be nice. He was like 15 bucks. I'd drive to his house after work, get a cut, boom, go. Out of there. That is sweet. Nowadays, man, in this economy, whew. The Can't thing was, that. he was cool. Cool-ass dude. But he would get mega butthurt that I'd, like, hang out with you and Jake and shit. He's like, why don't you hang out with me? And it's like, motherfucker. Mm. I was like... I know the motherfucker for 10 years. Like, I've known you for fucking four months. But, you know, as I've always said, and I know I've told you this for a fucking fact, right? I've always said the amount of time you've known somebody, it means something, of course, but it is not the end all be all. That, totally, totally, totally. That should not, should not determine your the deepness of your of your friendship you get what i'm saying I totally agree yeah and you have told me that before many but times he was a cool guy and i did hang out with him sometimes wasn't all the time i have a stronger connection with you and i'd rather hang out with you more than him you know yeah and, and, and i'm not saying that you should hang out with the guy you know if you if you don't if you don't vibe with him you just don't vibe with him it's just like that for some people and i vibed with him it was just he would spam text me at like 2 3 in the morning that I'm a piece of shit, and how come I don't hang out with him, and I hang out with you? And after, like, so much of that, I just blocked him. Couldn't take it. Toxico. But yeah, it was him. It was him. Well, at least he contributed something into your life. I don't remember his name either. I do. Never mind. It's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember. But yeah, he did contribute something. What was life. it? Can we bleep it? Yeah. You want his Instagram? Yes. You want to peep him? We're not gonna. Actually, yeah. We're bleeping this. I, I want to see. It's with a Z. Eleven with a Z. And what's his name? Seriously. It's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're having like a million fucking bleeps right there. Let me see. It's not that one, is it? No, it's eleven. Well, yeah, I did eleven. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like on my block list. How about that? Who knows? Ah, I'm not really worried about it. Who gives a shit, really? Not me. Either. <laughs> I uh, I sent you something. Where am I looking here? On Snapchat. The amount of time that you know... I will say this again, just to reiterate. The amount of time that you know somebody does not and should not determine the deepness of said relationship. Whether it be friendship... <laughs> real relationship um even even your parents question your fucking parents you know what i'm saying because just because they're your parents doesn't mean they're right 
What do you think? At what age did you decide that? At what age did I, did I decide that? I decide... Decide what exactly? That you weren't always going to 100% listen to your parents. Fuck. Probably... Yesterday? <laughs> probably like 13 years old. Probably when I first tried weed for the first time. 13? <laughs> Somewhere around there, 13, 14. You're goddamn fucking delinquent. You know? Delinquent. Hey, to be fair, dude, I lived by the edge for years until I was like 22. Oh, totally. Like. You totally did. Like, super edge. Unknowingly. Unknowingly. Yeah, unknowingly what edge was, but annoyingly fucking pushing on people. That's the fucked up part. You know? Like, any Epin uh, Weapon X song, that was me. I was like, you're the fucking problem. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> you're a target. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I would say it was probably around like 13, 14 is when I, I started to think to myself like... It was the marijuana, for sure. The marijuana did it too. It fucked your brain. Oh, did it fuck my brain? <laughs> did it? You really think so? <laughs> Personally, I think, I think it can fuck some people's brains because, I mean, not everybody's meant for it. Or it's not meant for everybody. But for others... I just feel normal. Um, no, I mean, it, it can be, it can be a, uh, it can be a door to enlightenment for some or a fucking door to paranoia for others, you know, just got to fucking ride the wave and find out for yourself. Just what I think. <laughs> it's been a while. What do you mean? For me. It's been quite a while. Since I touched the lettuce. Quite a while. I, see, the thing with me is I feel no need for it, you know? Yeah, yeah, Sometimes totally. Sometimes it's there. It's there. Cool, whatever. And then, other than that, I don't really fucking long for it. Because I know there's people that, like, need it. Yeah, yeah. Because today at, at work, it smelled like fucking devil's lettuce. And then I remember my boss was like, who would do that in the morning? And I already knew, you know, like, quite a few of them. You know what I'm saying? Quite a few of them do it in the morning. Ain't gonna say who, but quite a few. So, yeah. She thought it was so weird, and it's just kind of normal. Think about this, though. I mean, in reality, think about how many people on a daily basis, and I'm, I, I will say it again in emphasis, Duh. daily basis, stop for a coffee. Holy shit. This is some capitalist shit right here, for real. A lot. You know what I'm saying? A shit ton. Or not even stop for a coffee. Maybe they'll make a coffee at home. Uh-huh. Right? And I know they're two completely different things, but what is the difference between brewing up some coffee... And fucking packing a bowl. And lighting up a bowl. Wow. Totally. I agree with you. Because some people feel that itch. They need their coffee. Some people feel... Um, they don't feel themselves when they haven't had their coffee. Uh huh. You know? And then there's people that are like super anxiety out, and they need that. You know. Yeah. There's people who you will literally hear ah, after their first sip of their coffee. Do you think it's a placebo effect with the marijuana and the anxiety? Not at all. What, what? do you? What? Hold on. Expand like on that. Like people feel less anxious when they smoke marijuana. Not at all. Not at all. Just recently, I saw a video where there was this guy who had um. Uh, what's that uh, condition where you're per constantly Parkinson's. shaking? Yeah. Parkinson's? Uh-huh. Or I've is it Alzheimer's? That. Parkinson's. Parkinson's? Okay, well, Parkinson's. Well, this old man, right, he, he, he had Parkinson's and he was visibly shaking very, very bad. We've talked about this. We posted right? it. And I saw this video probably like maybe about a week ago. And he was visibly shaking. And so they gave him um, some some... THC drops uh -huh. right under his tongue and then it, it showed you a time lapse of him kind of just sitting down laying down and it gave you the time within 20 minutes this man stopped shaking his voice was easily uh, you could easily hear him uh -huh. and make out what he was saying and he himself recognizes oh my god I'm significantly better he even says it he's like it worked that quickly you know but unfortunately for him, it's not accessible in his home state. So he's fucked. 
Oh my god. It's either it's either he's um he's breaking the law so he can chill or he's shaking. He's fucking spilling his juice all over his yeah, couch. Yeah, I remember we had both showed my dad because we both watched it. This was like a year and a half, two years ago. We showed my dad and he started tearing up. He was amazed. Yeah, it's 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 an amazing thing if if um you know what you're doing. Don't overdo it. If you don't overdo it. And if you really need it. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. obviously you can do it recreational, recreationally as well. And that can be an amazing thing too. Right? But um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a medicine. In reality. So what does it do for you? What does it do for me? I just use it recreationally. It gives me fun. It gives me pleasure. <laughs> It's, it's medicine. It just uh, definitely for sure. It just chills. It chills me out at least. I mean, I'd be getting a little forgetful sometimes. We got a hypotenuse, fucking. <laughs> yeah, we got a fat hypotenuse, and I think we got down to it. <laughs> it might not be CT. I might have been fucking wrong this whole time. Although, although I do think maybe that did have to do with it somewhat. You think it's uh, it's a mixture of both. Uh-huh. Yes, totally. Because you've been very rememberful. Rememberful? <laughs> you think so as of late? Oh, yeah. I've been we're sharper? Just, we were just talking about this. Because it used to be like, oh, remember this? You're like, nah. And now it's like, remember I told you this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember. It's like, whoa, dude. This is awesome. <laughs> and I didn't mind repeating myself. I have to repeat myself all the time. You see, and I, but I felt like... I felt like at times uh, I, it, it was a burden, though. Nah. I was just busting your balls. Speaking about busting balls, whip that video up, baby. Yeah, sorry. Whip Fat that, side track. Whip that hoe up. Whip that hoe up. Okay, what is this? Oh, turn the volume, too. Turn the volume. Hey, I want to see it, too. I want to see it, too. Concrete finisher. Holy smokes. Look at the, look at the swelling. Whoa. If Coleman were here, he'd say to target Two. that. Three. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, and Concrete Finisher's eye has just exploded all over the audience. There is blood on the walls, blood on the official. The medic is taking a look at Concrete Finisher now. Hey, they, they, should, do te- they should do HIV testing for this stuff, man. Oh, totally. Do they? I'm... You know Dana White has a, the slap the slap fight, and this isn't in the slap. Uh, no, in the slap league, right? How do you feel about those? R- retarded. But we'll get back to that. Slap fighting is retarded. It's great entertainment, pure CTE, fucked up shit. But Dana White and his team know when to stop it, and that was too far. They should have stopped it two slaps before that. His eye was completely swollen shut. You shouldn't be fucking slapping him in the face anymore. Wow, dude, that's insane. He he could potentially lose an eyeball. He might have. You know? That might have been his eyeball all over the walls. I was looking at the comments. So no one really knew what was going on. They just kept asking if he, if he did lose it. That's a fucking wild, dude. Dude, but you, you didn't watch it all? The ref covered. And he had his shirt on his face and just wiped it all off. Like, fucking gnarly. Gnarly. Yeah, he totally got a blood transfusion that day. Dude. And then all the crowd right there, they're wiping their face. Oh, fuck. And then the guy just goes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, of course he doesn't want to do that. Which one Which one did that? The guy that slapped or the guy that, that's, that his eye bursted? Why would he say I'm sorry? Hey, man, fucking be harder. Your eye bursted. Just be so, harder. The The guy who slapped him was saying I'm sorry to him. Oh, to the... To he the, was wording. He was like, I'm, uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Nah, nah, dude. You put yourself in this situation. No, nah, but like, you why don't, the fuck you gotta be sorry? I think it's like respect. Like, say you're in a jujitsu thing and you like snap his fucking ankle. Like, you don't want to snap at the guy's ankle. Okay, but if he's not tap, okay, hold on. No, sometimes it hold just on. happens so fast. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is in this sense that was competitive. Totally. Right. Now, in the jujitsu thing, is that competitive or is it? Just kind of you're rolling. Competitive, but like, dude, okay. sometimes like they'll get in like in a Kimura, boom, snaps it, just pops right out, you know. And they don't, they're not meaning to do that. But, but, if you really go to the root of it, that is the objective. 
Yeah, you're totally right. You know what I'm saying? So he actually did his job. That's the objective. The objective is to... To survive. Survive slash win. And if bursting this guy's eyeball is what got him the W, then he got the job done. Okay, let's say this is like slot fight, not whatever that is. Do you think that guy is getting a bonus? Because you saw his face. His face was fine. Okay, yeah, the other guy, he, he's got to put some fucking work in the gym. He's doing something wrong. Because he literally had not a mark on his fucking face. <laughs> the other guy was fucking, he had gross and shit coming out. Yeah, he literally, they, he popped that cyst. For sure. Oh, man. So, yeah, Skinny Boy is getting the bonus for sure. I would say so, at least. Would you ever Would you ever do slot fighting? Hell no. Fuck no. Boy, I already got mind problems. That would probably enhance them. So, like, in school, you know, like, where they slap the hand or, like, they do knuckles, I never lost. Never. Not okay. once. See, but that's completely different. Never. Like, you see all my fucking knuckles are scarred up? Never lost. Never done lost it, dude. Never. But your face. I'll, I'll eat it. <laughs> Brother, when you're up against these fucking dogs with these mountain of a human, hey, I'll eat it. I will. I will bet money on it. I'll I eat it. I will bet money on it. Dana White, I want to get slapped by someone. <laughs> that I will bet money on it. That when you feel that first, I'm not saying it's not going to hurt. Slap by a professional. You're you will eat it, uh-huh. but you're not going to continue. I will continue. A dog. It's a I'm not a fucking bitch. I'm not saying you are. I'm not saying I'll you are. I'll fucking eat it. What I, I, it's just a slap. Look, you will eat it, yes. But what I'm saying is these slaps are... They're not like a normal person's slap. I know. The objective is to try to keep as minimal slaps as possible. You got to knock the fuck out of them. First go. You know? First rip. Gone. And... These guys got the technique down. Uh, apparently not, because they'd be lasting too, a little long. You gotta hit them, like, up here more. They're hitting in their face. Like, I'd cheat. I'd be a cheating bitch. For real. I would. And you know what? What's up with what's up with Platinum Mike Perry, man? Didn't he lose? Versus Jake Paul? Hold on. What's up with that shit? I was talking to Jake about it. I just heard about that. What the fuck? He's not a boxer. This is... Okay, there's a, there's a bunch of things. Okay. I think Jake was 40 pounds heavier than Mike. Okay. 40. It's a lot. Insane. Yeah. It's... What's that, like fucking three weight classes? That's fucking insane. Okay. Jake's been boxing for years. Okay. This is Mike Perry's first boxing fight. He's a bare knuckle guy. Okay. That's completely different. Knocks him out in like 20 seconds. All right. Yes. You know, so he's only been boxing for like two months because he took the shit on short notice. Short notice... 40 pounds lighter, <coughs> not a boxer. Gladiator. Gladiator. That's all I have to say. And he got the bag. Got the bag, for sure. What's fucking funny, though, is that he called out Alex Pereira. Who did? Jake. Paul. Now, Pereira's a world champion kickboxer. I don't know how he'll fare in a boxing fight. But if you're a kickboxer, you know how to strike as well. I think he's going to knock his fucking head clean off if he did fight him. Because he called him on the, in the ring. Did you see that? And, I mean, we, we, we've, we've seen we've seen Perea fucking... Everybody. We've seen him go, like, 50% and he's taking dudes out. You know? Poetan. Jama. Yeah, I would he, love he to called see him. He FaceTimed him in the ring right as he said it. They said 60 seconds after Jake Paul said that, he FaceTimed him. Pereira FaceTimed him while oh, he's still in the ring. I wonder what he said. He wants the bag, Jama. too. Oh, fuck. Everyone wants the bag, brother. He wants the bag. And honestly, I think the one that would get it is McGregor. Because he actually fought Floyd Mayweather. It wasn't a Logan Paul shit. It was an actual fight. Uh-huh. You know, it was an actual good fight. Did you see the Logan Paul one? Uh, versus uh, Floyd? Uh-huh. No, I didn't. It was mostly Logan Paul just going like this on his on his sides. I, I did. So s- Floyd would cover up, and then he just go. I did see that one barrage of punches when he went crazy, and everybody was saying like, whack. "Oh, Logan Paul was going at him," you know, but, but he like whack. missed every punch. It seemed those like are he. Whack. It seemed like he missed every punch. Yeah, so McGregor was actually doing his thing. You feel me? But I mean, McGregor is also at one point was an elite level striker himself. You he know? still is an elite level striker, I'm sure. 
Oh yeah, I'm sure. You want to see some elite level striking? I want to see how well <laughs> you can guess if it's a lesbian or Adam Sandler. Okay, let's see. You've been talking about this. I want to see what's up. I'm excited. I want to see what's up. Hold on, let me get this fucking. Now we're we talking about Jack and Jill here. What you mean? Jack and Jill. You never seen that movie, Jack and Jill? Adam Sandler, Jack and Jill. Come on, no. the people know. You don't know. No, nope, no. Nope. People know. You know damn well I don't know anything about anything. Okay. Turn it up, turn it up. And welcome back to Adam Sandler or Lesbian, where I show you a picture of an outfit and you have to determine whether <laughs> Adam Sandler or Lesbian. Or Billie Eilish. Let's begin. That's let, Adam let me Sandler. See. That's Adam Sandler. <laughs> That's a lesbian. Are you ready? Adam Sandler don't wear vans. Adam Sandler or a lesbian. It's a lesbian. <laughs> Adam Sandler. That's gotta be a lesbian. That's Adam Sandler. No way. Adam Sandler. Sandler or a lesbian? It's a lesbian. <laughs> Adam Sandler. Let's see. That, if that's not Adam Sandler, I'm going to suck your wiener right hold now. Hold on, hold on. Can I see the phone? I will suck your schlong right now on camera. Brother, I'll tell you right now, that is not Adam Sandler. Okay, let me see the phone. Oh, the legs are too skinny. That's okay. not Adam Sandler. I take it back. I take it back. It's going to be Adam Sandler. It's not. Yeah, Ooh. see, it's the legs. The legs are way too skinny. Adam Sandler? That's Adam Sandler. No. No, I think it is Adam Sandler. This that, is going to be a trick. Uh, no, it's a lesbian. a lesbian. Lesbian. I'm going Adam Sandler. I'm going lesbian here. It's Adam Sandler. Fuck! <laughs> what the fuck kind of movie was that? Probably Jack and Jill. Yeah? Yeah. I'm getting Adam Sandler vibes right here. Let me see. Hmm. Now, you really got to dissect this here. This is really Adam Sandler vibes right here. Yeah, this is Adam Sandler. Oh, surely. Yes. The answer was Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler? That's gotta be Adam Sandler. Come on, dog. The it, basketball tour? It's either Adam Sandler or Billie Eilish. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, you know what really does it for me? The lakes. You, you know, nah. The Adidas. The shoes. Is, is that what he wears? He rocks The shoes. It? Oh, fuck me. Hi, it's totally to the Adam shoes Sandler that do it for me. I fucking Hi. fucked it. And welcome back to. I fucked it. I lost it. It was Ooh. Adam Sandler. That's a lesbian. That is a lesbian. That's gotta be a lesbian. Sandler or lesbian? Lesbian! Lesbian. No question. Actually, <laughs> lesbian. I'm gonna go lesbian. Adam Sandler Wait. or lesbian? Damn it! What the? I was gonna say that! Hey, this is some uncut gems, Adam That's Sandler. Some un I, could tell by the, I could tell by the belt. I could tell by the belt. I knew at, when I said wait... <laughs> I saw the belt and I said, no, that is fucking Uncut Gems. That's Adam Sandler. This is some Uncut Gems, Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Yeah, that's that drip, Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Or is it a lesbian? That's a lesbian. That's Adam Sandler. It's Adam Sandler. Yeah, it's Adam Sandler. Here's a hint. It's oh, it's a young lesbian. Adam Sandler. Final one. MIT, that's Adam Sandler. Did he go there? I'm just going to trust you on that one. Adam Sandler. You answer that quick. Or lesbian. And the answer is Adam Sandler. Young Adam Sandler. Yo, I Adam Sandler was a boy. hunk, boy, back totally. in his younger days, dude. Totally a God Jewish damn, hunk. Damn, dude. Jewish hunk. That man's a legend. And you know, I think he was he was maybe he was the inspiration to younger Dill. What? Always rocking the big gym shorts, the 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 big tees, you know, he's kind of just just roughing it. Maybe that's where you were. Maybe that's where the root of your inspiration was. You just didn't even know it. Totally not. I just didn't have any clothes, and I just never asked for clothes. So we know this man. He has insane amounts of money, and he could afford any clothes he really realistically wants. But I like that about him. That's real. He was going out in Brooklyn playing pickup games. He's that's just, real. He's just a real man. He's just a real guy. That's all it is. Could totally he's be a totally, lesbian. He's totally real. He puts on the homies year after year after year, no matter what the fucking movie is. Always. He's like, get my boys in here. Yeah. Figure it out. 100%. Figure it out. Either do it or no movie. Figure it out. My favorite movie like, growing up was Waterboy. I might have seen it a million times. Was it? Oh, yeah. I love that movie. 
my mom was saying that that hoser got a big wiener and I shouldn't suck it. Is Adam Sandler goaded? Oh, totally. Goaded, for sure. You would say so? Yes. I would say Jim Carrey is. Him too. You know? Totally. I think we've talked about it before, but I'm putting Jim Carrey and Denzel on my on my oh, Denzel top three list of actors all the time. Just what I think. But I think it's just bi- I think it's kind of biased. Biased? Why? Because it's like oh, it's because that's my favorite actor, you know? Well, I mean, yeah, it's all objective, but in reality, like, come on, aren't the Oscars fucking objective too? Oh, totally. I mean, totally. Yeah, they they. I don't know. They may be basing it off box office numbers or something. I'm not really, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, fucking for a stupid little gold trophy, yeah, they can fuck off, really. So have you seen Long Legs yet? No. Are you going to? Probably not. You're such a bitch, dude. I'm waiting for that Terrifier 3, if I'm being completely honest with you. I just saw something the other day, and it's like, if you want to watch the whole, ter- uh, what's the Terrifier? If you want to watch the whole timeline, this is what it is. And there's like other movies with the guy in it that aren't about him, but he's in it. The, the clown. Art the clown? Yeah. And then he starts from there. It's like 10 movies. What is he, like a background background clown or something? No, it's like, it's a, it's a movie and he's like a small character in it. And then they decided to make a short film about him to see if it would take off. And they put it at film festivals and then I guess it was so scary that they wouldn't accept it there. So is, is he Art the Clown at this point or is he still yes, like... Art the Clown. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so like that first movie though, he didn't look as scary because he was more of a small character. But then they did his own thing about him, and it just kept getting scarier and scarier and scarier. Yeah, that that guy is creepy, dude. I've never seen any of them. Uh, They're horrible movie plots, but I don't watch them for the plots. You watch it for the gore. I watch them for the gore. Okay, speaking of gore, we got a reel on Instagram that is just... Every day I get at least like 10 comments. No. No. You are such a piece of shit. Don't even ask me. No. You need to go to the top like comment... And watch that. I did. I, I, I checked one out about 10 or 11 episodes, right? Wow. So you gave it a good, a good hard and true try. It was good. Uh-huh. It was good. But um, <clears throat> I think this is all going back to I don't really have time for a series. I think I would much rather do something else with my time than watch a series. Like listen to music. Or like Doom Scroll. Or... Yes. yes. Hey, question for you, question for you. The other day you were like, damn, I got like 14 hours on Twitter today. Are you be listening to music while you're on Twitter? Um, you know, it's kind of weird. Yeah, typically, yeah. Typically. But um, it's kind of weird because sometimes I'll go on the app while I'm listening to music and the music instantly cuts off. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's weird. Wow. I'll slide down, play it. I'll slide back up to go back on the app itself. Cuts off. It's because you have... So you have to find a video, and you have to mute it. Mm. So you find the video, and then you mute it, and then your music will play again. See, brother, you shouldn't have done that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, His brother. His numbers are about to skyrocket <laughs> on last of him. Well, okay, so what do you spend most of your time on Twitter doing? Doom scrolling. Any information you're finding on there? Anything good? It's all for... It's all merely entertainment. Any, any good conspiracies lately? Any good conspiracies lately? Um, other than the one that you brought up to me the other day, no. The Joe Biden one? No, the um, the, the n- death numerology. Rips. That one was really interesting. I won't talk about it much here. Just go on TikTok, search up death grips, Ariana Grande bombing. Very interesting. Very interesting. I got to watch the long form video, but did they do it? Did they do it? But uh, I haven't really been checking out anything else other than that, really. There is a conspiracy right now that Joe Biden is going to be dead pretty soon. Within a week or two. I wouldn't mind it. So, <laughs> he said, the only way I'm not going to run for president is if I physically can't or I'm sick. Two hours later, he has COVID and is in the hospital. Well, this motherfucker physically hasn't been able to for the past fucking four years. So... If that's the case. So anyways, people think that they're they're killing him. They're killing him or he's just dying? They're killing him. I wonder why. Is this is it the CIA doing it? Just to get him get him out. No, it's the elitist. The elitist? Yeah. The elitist, the the NWO, the New World uh-huh. Order. And then 
Um, I'm not the, like like I'm into conspiracies, but I'm not like believe in them, you know. But this was a huge W for the conspiracy theorist. Not myself. I'm not a part of it. Okay. Fluoride in the water. Okay. It's been confirmed. There's fluoride in the water. Which it's water? All of our water? Tap water. It's fucking everyone up. Okay. Been confirmed. And I keep seeing, like, on Reddit and shit, like, <laughs> conspiracy theorists are fucking celebrating. That's, like, one of the older ones, you know? Early thousands. People were like, you're fucking insane. You gotta swish your water between magnets. It's insane. You know? Is it the fluoride metal? I don't know, really. I really don't know. Then there's, like, another thing I've been seeing, but I don't think it's it's a conspiracy theory. I'll just be drinking it. Well, it's true. You go to, like, uh, baby oatmeal or, like, baby food, like, dry baby food, there's a ton of iron in it. Like, iron shavings. And people put magnets, and it's, like, through the whole thing. Yes, I have seen that. But I think it's there intentionally. Because we need iron. Okay. You know? Yes, brother, but I don't. I think this iron is not like metal shavings. You know. I mean, I could agree with you there. Of, but then again, I am not a professional in I'm the periodic table of elements. Okay, if 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 you look up this fucking element on the periodic table, and you actually have its 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 form in hand. Will it stick to a magnet? I don't know. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I'm as fucking stupid as stupid does, man. I'm stupid as they get. Wrong person to ask. I lost it. Like the iron pills, dude. People take iron pills. Yeah, you know, but... Maybe they got fucking anemia or something. You know what I mean? Maybe they got anemia. They low on the iron. They got to fucking suck some pennies. So they take these iron <laughs> pills to supplement themselves. And, um... But I, I really don't think those iron pills literally have iron in them as far as like the metal but in parentheses not a professional the periodic table elements okay so why the fuck is it iron then on the fucking pill i don't know a lot of females need iron okay maybe it's like a, a wood 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 situation you know what a woulda shoulda coulda like like wood is different from wood you get what I'm saying here? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's something like that. So what was the third one? I don't know. I think that the third one just came out of me. That's my Hardwood. wood. Morning wood. <laughs> my wood, baby. <laughs> yeah, I woke up with the fattest one yesterday, dude. Oh, yeah? Oh, my Lord. Pissing with it? It's... it's. You got, that, you got that Charlie Sheen from Scary Movie 3? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to beat that sucker down. Not, not like that, but... <laughs> Not opposed. Not opposed to trying. But yeah. The only other thing I got was they're integrating that uh that uh Secret Service lady for the Trump shit. Okay. And they're like, Why the fuck is this building not fucking covered? And she was like, it didn't seem like a threat. You know why it wasn't covered? Because they told her not to cover it. Totally. Conspiracy theories. They're on top, baby. I don't know. Are you a flat earther? No. Do you believe the moon landing was real? Fuck no. Do you believe we've been to the moon? Fuck no. No? Why, why haven't we been back? They go back. If, if we've been to the moon, if we literally had people walking on the moon back in, what was it, the 60s? At this point in 2024, why haven't we had more, than, more people doing it? I think there has been more people doing it. Yeah, on set. No, I think real life. Shoot me up there or it didn't happen. You have to be like seriously trained into that shit. I can do it. You can do it. <laughs> would you well, go would you go on the Mars mission? Uh, yeah, totally. I'm all the way. I'm for Mars 100%. Okay, here's another weird thing that I saw that like about Adam and Eve. So there was a thing and it was like you go to Mars and the planet's like dead, basically. Uh-huh. Like you're an astronaut, right? And the, you find a cave and inside is written four words. What is it? And the pin comment was, did Adam make it to Earth? And then I was like, what the fuck is this? So I went on TikTok. You know, TikTok news, baby. They, got, they know what's going on. And it was talking about 
how <laughs> Adam. Know, you know what four words I pictured? <laughs> Go ahead. I have ray gun. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I so it said did Adam did Adam make it? We're talking about Earth and Adam and Eve, and that in some other religion, I don't remember which one, Adam was from another planet and he was sent down there from another planet and he was actually made out of clay and they took parts of his body to make Eve who was actually turned into a real human his rib that was crazy it's a little far-fetched a little far-fetched from another planet was sent down there motherfucker made out of play-doh and then last thing I watched a six-hour video yesterday this ain't a video <laughs> It's a fucking movie. So maybe, maybe instead of, maybe my last FM is so low because I watch a shit ton of YouTube. I, I would agree. So yesterday, you want to know what I did? I watched the whole Call of Duty Zombies storyline. Like, to like, from beginning to end. Everything. And that was a fucking clusterfuck that did not make any sense at all. And then after the video, I went to the comments, and everyone was like, I still don't get it. Too much shit going on. Not even going to talk about it. Then... Well, six hours, dude. How can you retain six hours No, it's of not shit? even that. It was just six hours of clusterfuck. And just at the end, the whole clusterfuck could have ended if they figured out that they were caught in a, in a time loop. Well, yeah, those are the fucking portals that you go through in the Pack-A-Punch. You're literally quantum jumping. There you go. You're getting there. Good shit. Good shit, baby. You know? How could you not tell? They couldn't figure it out. Okay? Because at the end... At the end... I'll, I'll, I'll spoil it. Okay? At the end, they have to fight Dr. Monty. And he's like, oh, the only way to fix the time loop... To fix the... Par they're in a paradox, right? Because th the people that were alive weren't from that fucking universe. They, they shouldn't be there. She's like, oh, so I'm going to send you to a universe, a universe where no one's from. And you go there... And it's like, oh, this is the beginning, the Great War from, like, way before. But the Great War is actually the end, not the beginning. It was weird. And then, finally, after, like, 400 times of them doing that, one of them remembered it, and he figured it out. And then they did the whole loop one last time. It was awesome. It sounds pretty cool, actually. It was just too much, though. Six hours. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. It's like two Oppenheimers. Time loop. Bunch of fucking shit, the zombies, all that shit. Too crazy. Way too much shit going on. Then I watched the Halo. This is all in one day, by the way. Watched the Halo shit. That was only an hour and a half. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Awesome shit. And then I'm watching the Gears of War one right now. That's about four and a half hours. Wow. I'm, I'm like two hours in right now. I couldn't even fathom. Yeah, it was just... Because I guess games have a lot of lore and I'm just retarded. I think I'm going to do Bioshock next. Cause I saw Chris Noodles fucking his girl posted that shit. She's like, well, he reposted it, so I saw it. Did you see it? No. Best gaming uh, story game of all time. So I gotta watch that shit. Cause they're build they're making a new Bioshock. See, and I'm not a gamer like that. I always wished I was. I'm not a gamer like that either, but it's but cool to it's cool to know it. Heavier than me. Probably. Much much heavier than me. I don't know. One. You were talking to Noodles like you knew that you was about it. Like, you know Metal Gear Solid and shit. I don't know that shit. No, but you're a much heavier gamer than I am. We should stream right now. Let's play games. I'm just kidding. Um, what was I going to say? The long legs thing. There was this video. This is what started the scary shit. He was like, and I can't find it. I think it was taken down. I don't know because the movie's out now. And he was like, look what I just saw on live TV. And he like hits play. And then right at the end of one ad, it shows like this scary thing. It's just like a room with a figure and you can't see its face fully. But it's like it's taking a picture through the TV. Like it's like a reflection of it. But you can't see the person taking the picture. He's like, what the fuck is this? And then you watch Long Legs. And that same image is in the movie. So you know what they were doing with Smile? They would send out actors just to smile. Mm -hmm. I think they were putting little scary shit in TV. Without people knowing that it was that's what it was. What? Yep. What? You'll have to show me this. I can't fucking find it. What? That sounds cray cray. Yeah. But that movie, 
legit good. If you don't like it, you're a bitch. Okay, I'll have to check it out then. And on that note, we're Daddy's Dungeon. This episode 121. Um, tap in. Peace. <laughs>